children wanted bears. Same kind of setup as yesterday. However, we want to know how many more dog balloons were made than bears. Hmm. How many more dog balloons were made than bears? What kind of equation is going to go with this story problem? How many more dog balloons were made than bears. Jackson, what you thinking? Um, subtraction. It's going to be a subtraction problem. Do we know what's going to come first in our equation? Yes, the whole. The whole. What is the total number that we're working with? We're working with the two parts. We're working with the whole. It's subtracting the part to find out the other part. Very good. What's going to come first, dog balloons or bear balloons? Dog. Dog balloons. How many dog balloons were there? Yeah, it says how many more dog balloons, so I know I'm going to start with my dog balloons, 26. You told me it was a subtraction problem, and what are we subtracting from our dog balloons? The 17 parts. Yeah, the 17 bear balloons. Go ahead and write our equation. Oh, I put a box. Why is there a shape in the middle of my equation? Kaylee? Spot it's a spot saver. What's going to go there eventually? Answer. Not always. In this case, yes, the answer is going to go there. But just a number, right? Yeah, a number is going to go there. We don't know that number yet, so we put a spot saver. All right, once you have your equation, let's go ahead and draw our hundred chart. seconds to get that down in your notebook. All right, just like yesterday, we're going to draw our base 10 pieces pictures to represent our numbers, and we're going to put them in our chart. So we're going to start with 26 first. Are there any hundreds in 26? No. 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 So am I going to put anything in my hundreds column? No. no. Are there any tens in 26? Yes. How many tens, Naviana? Two. two tens. Draw our two tens in our tens column. And Caleb, how many ones are in 26? Six. Very good. Alright. Just like yesterday, if you want to put the little dash line to separate your numbers, you can. You don't have to. And let's go ahead and draw out our second number. Seventeen bear balloons. How many hundreds are in seventeen, Aiden Tracy? How many hundreds are in 17? None. There are no hundreds. How many tens are in 17? Sabrina? One. One. One ten. And how many ones are in 17, Emily? Seven. Seven. Um, the first. The tens? 
Yeah. Is that where we started yesterday? No, we started with the one. Why did we start with the one yesterday? In case we had to make a trade. Do you think we might ever have to make a trade in subtraction? Yes. Yes, we probably will. So do we want to start with the ones or the tens? The ones. Always start with the ones. Always start with the ones. Always start with the ones. Exclamation point, smiley face, star. Always start with the ones. Why? We might have to trade. We want to start with the smallest unit in case we have to trade something out. This is where third graders mess this up. They always do the tens. You all, well, no, you guys usually start in the ones, but you guys normally just go with whatever is easiest. In subtraction, you're going to start with a whole number, a big number. For instance, he made 26 balloons, and he's taking away from that. I have to start where 26 is. I cannot start down here and do my subtracting. So I have to say 6, take away 7. Aiden Washington, if you have $6, can you easily give me $7? No. no. A lot of third graders go, eh, that's tricky. I'm just going to start back here and go up. That does not work. You start up go down. You always start at the top and you go down. Like but wait, I don't have enough ones yet to do that. Aiden just told me he only has six ones. He can't give me seven ones. What are we going to do? He only has six ones hanging out. Group but he needs seven ones. The ones with other ones. Hmm. Are there other ones? Yes. There is yes. on the bottom. Well, that's not part of my number. I can't use these ones down at the bottom because that's not part of 26. Where are my other ones hiding within the number 26? Emily? The 10. I'm going to make a trade. And I'm going to take this 10 and break it apart into my 1. How many 1s am I going to get from a 10, Emily? Ten. Make sure you add your ones over to the other side. Colin, how many ones do I now have available in my 16. top section? Is that enough to subtract seven easily? Yes. yes. Yes, this is my strategy for subtracting within pictures. I like to just connect. That way I can keep track of what I've done. If you want to do X's, you can. I don't know. But that way I know I've subtracted. So what I just did is I took my 16, because I had enough ones, and I took away 7. Yes? Nine and then I have nine ones left over. Are there any questions about what we just did? Yes. So the thing you have to do yep. is, is the other one has more than the rest of the ones in You have to you have to find more ones. And in this case, where were our ones hiding? In the tens column. In the tens column. So we took a ten. We stole it. Traded it. Yes. So if all hundreds is the math problem. Uh huh. So let's say it's 165, uh -huh. and you have half. Right now we have left my tenth column. Tom, you got a question? Or you have a uh, Go for it. Uh, what if it's five minus eight? What, what do you mean? What if it's five minus eight? You don't have any tens, and you can't subtract. Uh, are we talking about like the problem is literally five minus eight? Yeah. Then it would be a negative number. That can happen. You could have a negative number. It's not going to happen in third grade, and you don't need to mess with negative numbers. But that can happen. Okay. That works. All right. I'm not done yet. I have my 
one <laughs> ten subtract one ten leaves me with how many tens? One. one. Two. Whoa, 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 we're subtracting. Mm. One, take away one. 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 That leaves you with zero. So I have zero, nine. How many balloons? How many more balloons? Oh, what kind of balloons? How many more dog balloons did you make over bear balloons? What did you come up with, Sabrina? Nine. 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 So I want you to write down two things in your notebook, preferably in giant letters so you remember. Always start in the one. And I'll write that down in giant letters with you. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Always start with the ones. Why? In case you've got to make a trade. And always start with the whole. And we'll talk more about that when we start talking about word problems, but that's usually going to be your top number in your subtraction equation. So make sure you add those two things in your notebook, preferably with exclamation points, exclamation points, smiley faces, stars, so you know, hey, this is kind of important. Always start with the one. And always start with the whole number, which for us is going to be on top. It's going to be our top number in our equation. Okay, that makes sense. All right, we're going to do another problem, but we're going to do this one on our desk. So if you want to move your notebook, um, go ahead and just put it in your desk. We're not necessarily done with it, but that way it's out of our way. And let's go ahead and draw our base 10 chart on our desk. Just make sure you make it nice and big. Leave room for an equation, maybe up by your name. All right, our word problem today reads, a book publisher had a goal of selling 712 copies of the newest children's books. So far, the company has sold um, 596 copies. How many more copies do they need to sell to meet their goal? What is their total goal? What is their total book selling goal that they want? The total number they want to sell, Catherine, is what? The total number of books they want to sell is what? 712. 712. That is our whole number. That is the total. That's what they want to sell. Did they sell the total number? No. No, they sold part of the number that they wanted to. How much did they actually sell? Family, how much did they actually sell? 596. And that, as a subtraction problem, is going to give us how many more they need to sell. Ava, can you actually grab tissues for your table? Lindley, will you grab tissues for your table? Ryan, will you grab tissues for your table? Aiden Washington, will you grab tissues for your table so everyone has an eraser? Alright, let's build our total number first. 712. How many hundred are there in 712? Ava? Seven. Let's do some hundreds flats. They don't need to be gigantic. You've got to draw seven of them. Did I say a thousand to you? No. No. We're doing hundreds. All right, how many tens are in 712? Aviana? One. One. One little bitty ten all by itself. All right, how many ones, Lindley, are in 712? 
100. Sabrina? I'm not going to get 100 tens. I'm going to get 10 tens. I'm going to get 10 tens from the 100 I just stole. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Lindley, you okay? Lindley, are you okay? Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Naviana, we good? Yeah. Do you understand where that number came from? Yes. yes or no? Yes. Okay. So now I have 10 tens, right, Colin? Mm -hmm. Subtract 9 tens. Is that a little, does that work out a little better for us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I have 10 tens, subtract 9 tens. Ooh, this is getting a little funky. And I'm going to have how many left over, Colin? One, One ten left. Awesome. I know my tens got a little scary in there. All right, let's look over at our hundreds. I have 500 subtract 500. Is that right? Oh no, I have 600. Sorry, I can't count. Counting is hard sometimes. 600 subtract 500. Can I do that? Easy yeah. peasy? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Aiden Washington, how many hundreds will I have left over? One. One. One hundred sixty. One hundred left over. Catherine? You can say the number. It's one hundred. Now remember when we talked about that word sum and how the sum, that really means the answer to an addition problem? The answer for a subtraction problem is called difference. So the difference is 160. So I can fill in my equation, my difference between 712 and 596 is 116. All right. That was tricky. That was a tricky one. You ready to try another one? Yeah. All right, erase your space. Try to keep your hundreds chart as best you can. It reads 172 subtract 56. That's your equation. Go through it the same way we did it together and go slow. If you haven't written down your equation, you might want to do that, though. All right. So if you're done, follow along with me. If you're still working, try to follow along with me. You keep doing you. Okay. All right. So I set up my equation. I have 172 to subtract 56. Remind me, where do I start again, Piper? With the one column, and do I start with what's easy or do I start with what's the total? total. Awesome. Where is my total? Which number is my total? Um, 172. Yeah, that top number. So I have two ones subtract six ones. Is that going to be easy peasy for me, Lindley? Do you have any idea what I just said? No. Can we stop that and come back up here? All right, so I have two ones subtract the six ones. Can I do that easy peasy? No. What do I need to do for me? Why? Awesome. Awesome. Yes, I need to steal a ten so I have more ones to use, right, Kaylee? Yeah. Yeah, stay with me. I hear a lot of whisper voices behind me. Stay with me. How many ones do I get when I trade out that 10? How many ones do I get, Caleb? 10. 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I have a total of 12 ones, subtract 6 ones. Does that make my job a little easier? Yeah. yeah. What is 12 ones minus 6 ones? Uh, 
It is six. Cool. Now what? Hey, Tracy, now what? Now I can subtract the tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. Subtract one, two, three, four, five tens. Six tens minus five tens. Can I do that, easy peasy? Yes. What is that? Six tens minus five tens. Elliot? Six tens subtract five tens? One ten. What's going on in my hundreds? What's going on with my hundreds? Santiago? It's just by itself. It's 100 minus nothing. 100 minus nothing is... If I have $100 and I give you $0, how many dollars do I have? I have zero dollars now? No, 100. I have 100. If I have $100 and I give you none, I still got $100. Yeah. What is my difference? What is my difference? Aiden? 116. Let's go ahead and add that vocab word to our glossary. So go ahead and erase everything on your desk. We're going to continue working on our desk, but not today. So erase, erase everything on your desk, including your chart. And then we're going to add different to our math glossary.